Hello everyone and welcome back. We have some Rebel Troopers. So this is from Hoth. Um, you know, certain figures I always like getting doubles of. You know, Stormtroopers, you know, just basic Rebel Troopers and stuff like that. It's always fun having two of them because if you ever need, like, just a little army, I can, I can put two out of one and maybe two of something else and then suddenly I have a little army, especially on something this size. Um, if it's like my little Lego or, um, a 126 to 132 millimeter scale or whatever, you know, you can have a ton of them. But when, I mean, I'm working on a pool table here and when I have the guys over, if I need an army, you know, you're, you're trying to fill up the table a little bit. And of course, these guys always fill it up a little faster. Uh, if you guys are doing diagram, uh, dioramas and stuff like that, you may want a little more here and there depending on what you all have out. So, and of course, then you've, you know, you get some named troopers or whatever else, uh, something like that, that really adds to it. So, um, Rebel or Rebel Trooper for Hoth, uh, after the Battle of Yavin, uh, Yavin 4, the Rebels fled from the Imperial Starfleet, uh, seeking a new main base of operations. They settled on the frozen outer rim world of Hoth. So, that's what we have here. I think everybody knows what a Rebel Hoth Trooper is. I don't think I really need to go over that any more than, than what we already have here. So we'll just kind of get into opening the figure. And of course, I got my bigger knife in hand today because it's just a little handier. And I look over and I have my smaller one, which looks a little bit more, um, less like I'm trying to play Rambo here. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So, <laughs> so let's, let's get them out and see what we've got. So, we have two different rifles here. One's the, actually that's more of a pistol. And of course then we have our rifle. We do have a, a face guard here. And with the big crunches we go and we get the figure itself out. All of these and they're good. But the other thing is he's got a backpack on and typically when we find them they don't have the backpack on their back at the at the time that we're pulling them out. So that does make a little bit of a difference here. Okay. So looking at the armor, how that's all set in here. Looks like that is actually set. To hold the backpack on. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, but it, it definitely has that appearance. Like it, it's holding the armor on. So just looking the figure over, looks nice. Has some nice print on it. We do have um, some marks here that would not be ranked to me. That would be something else. Um, and of course, this is our, our rank and, and designation and all that stuff right there. So. Um, okay, so standard ankle, you know, we're forward, backwards, although it's not, you know, you're not going to go forward all that much, and it is kind of squared off for the boot, which isn't a big issue, and let's see, we do have the double knee here, I'm just looking for twists or anything else, which we don't really seem to have, we do have this, so he can stretch out his, his leg pretty good, now, with the the jacket coming down as far as it does, uh, that might limit some of the movement that you can do because you know you're trying to spread this across. This is a little rubberier, uh, but it has to be in in my viewpoint. It really has to be simply because it's supposed to be the jacket, um, and then we have the white underneath here to represent just the jacket itself with the vest over it. So that looks that looks pretty good. We have our communications here because if you remember, uh, they kind of brushed it off. Uh, I believe it was Han that brushed it off to go talk to Luke, uh, unless maybe I'm thinking the other way around. But either way, uh, and I'm sure that we have our twist here. Yes, we do. So we do have our twist here. So it's probably right about there. We have a nice pouch here for whatever they're going to carry. Maybe some food supplies. That's really what these are supposed to be. These are supposed to be like ration pellets. So, <laughs> worst case scenario, 
It may not be the most filling thing out there, but it's at least something. And then we have our goggles here, and then they can come down and go over the eyes, or you can keep them up on top like so. That's kind of neat. Head moves a little bit. We have a little bit of a scarf there. And of course, then we have this piece. So we would have to take this off. I don't know how far we got to go to get that off. Um, just being honest, I really don't know how far. Uh, I suppose we could try, but some things might just have to kind of wait. Just trying to see what kind of movement we have. You know, we can kind of twist a little bit off to the side, but not very much. Uh, this head's going to stay pretty static there. Uh, we can twist it pretty good. Can look down a little bit and up a little bit, but oh, okay. So we're we're trying this after all. All right. Boy, that that changes how that looks. I I I just don't know how we're doing this here. <clears throat> Somebody did this for a reason. I just don't think I really agree with that reason. That does not look so good. Um, because that should go on there, but just. Okay, that's something we don't want to do. The face looks like it can come off. So this works well with probably the bearded face. We could probably change that face out. Just keep that in thought. So uh, we're not going to mess with that right now. Uh, what we are going to do is we're going to look at our uh, nice long blaster pistol. Um, All right, it looks good. It's just my mind is going on on the whole face and everything else here. So that looks pretty decent. It fits in there pretty good. And then of course we have our rifle with the good optics on there, our scope or whatever, um, and it's you know a very basic stock um, that sits up fairly nice and high. I don't know. I'm hoping that uh, that's see through. So you can look underneath there to get down there, or you can see over there. But either way, uh, I don't see any place that you're going to mount this onto the backpack if you wanted to. So he's going to have to carry it one way or the other, and then I drop him. Because of course I do. If I don't break the figure, I at least I'm going to drop it. I mean, that's just kind of a given. And that's fine. It's just me being me, and that's just the way the world works, and that's not going to be a problem. I don't mind if you don't mind. All right. Get that down back, back here. So, you know, it is a nice-looking nice, nice looking figure. Um, it looks like it's communications back here, but I don't know exactly what else is going to be back there, so I'm just going to leave that like that. And, of course, you know, Stands up pretty good. Uh, we do have pretty good movement out of here. We have a nice twist. This does have a joint there. This side doesn't. So this is the second figure I really kind of noticed that you know, we can kind of move the wrist up here on, on the one side. Actually, it'd be this hand. Um, which would work for being overseas. I'm thinking like a stick shift. But uh, here in the States, it doesn't work as well. <laughs> And we have a double joint for the elbow, so we can bring the, the elbow all the way up. Or no, no we don't have a double joint. I thought we did. But no we don't, I'm a liar. You caught me lying. But we do have the elbow move here, and it doesn't move on the top part of the arm, so so the bicep doesn't do it, but you know, he's uh, pumping iron here. Okay, and there we are. Not bad. Uh, it's a good collection. It's a good addition to the collection, I should say. Um, like I said, this the, the backpack looks like it's kind of set in with this. I'm not going to try and figure out if it can and cannot come off. I'm going to leave it exactly the way it is. So, But it looks nice. It is a nice looking figure. It looks nice. We have some fairly good articulation out of here. Um, and I think it, it works. It really does. So, all right. Well, as always, thanks for visiting. It's always wonderful having you stop by. 
Hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next video.